hey you guys is welcome back to our channel if you're new don't forget to like comment subscribe and share today I'm gonna be showing you how to blow dry your hair at home so you can get the perfect blowout just using these simple steps I'm using the heat protectant spray to make sure that my hair is not damaged I'm gonna be working into sections so I'm starting off with the front section and then I'll do each side later on Don't mind the ratchetness with the tape, I happened to drop this blow dryer and this piece, the nozzle wouldn't stay on so I had to do what it do and here's the solution I came up with. <laughs> so I'm starting off with the front pieces, making sure that the section that I'm working with are medium size, you don't want it to be too thick or too thin. So the key point for this. If you want to get volume, a lot of volume at the front, make sure that you blow dry it towards your face as opposed to actually parting it and blow drying in that direction. Make sure the hair is dry completely before you go ahead and work on another section. So I start off with the root, making sure that it's dry well and nice, and then I work from mid shaft to end. After each section is completely dry, I'm going to make sure I pin it down just so that it cools down. That way you'll have, um, you'll have a lot more body to your hair. Right, so I'm going to do the same thing with the size. Notice that my sections are not that big. They're still medium size. Working each section one by one and then pinning it. Just make sure that your brush is hugging that section that you're looking to work with. So in some places you can actually see me wrapping the hair around the brush first and then gliding it down to the ends. So that makes it a little more easier. That's just another tip for you. Another tip is to make sure that the blow dryer is directed towards the way that you're sliding or gliding your brush because that way it seals the cuticle and you don't actually have to put your blow dryer onto the brush that just damages the hair for some reason. Just make sure that it's standing right on top of it going on the direction. So you want to make sure that your cuticle are sealed because that is what makes it silky and soft towards the end so the other thing you can do i'm not really showing you but once the hair is dry and you're just going through it one last time with your round brush you can put it on the cool setting so that way it really seals the cuticle
thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it here's how i achieve my blowout it's super nice super silky i only use my bombay hair dryer my round brush and that's it and you can comb it out with the white tooth comb in the description down below i will leave all the tools that i used during this video so feel free to check it out the hair is from lads and co hair this is the body weight texture that will also be in the description down below check it out if you want to purchase some you know and let me know what you want to see so that way i can keep producing these videos for you i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on my next one